Hey, Philip, what you doing? I'm just throwing away this thing. What are you making there? I'm gonna make a trailer truck. So what we're doing is we're getting ready to put that, we'll start welding up that tongue. He's uh, just gonna cap that end, probably leave this end open so it gets a little air and dries out, but that one's gonna be the end underneath the trailer. So we're gonna go ahead and cap that. Uh, got it all prepped, got a little square piece cut out, and I'm fixing to tack them on and weld them up. And uh, get that part packed up, it's gonna be right underneath there. And uh, you know, that's what's next. over there? Yeah, down at the bottom. Well, huh? now we're wishing we would have uh, put this tongue and cut this all off before we put the trailer together. Would have been nice when we had access to the bottom. But that's okay. He's crawling under there. Getting it ground down. Getting ready to slide that on there and we'll, uh, we'll figure out how to weld him up somehow. So we may end up trying to jack this up and put it on some jack stands to get it a little bit higher in the ground. But um, actually, once you get under there, it's pretty good clearance because it comes back up about another six to eight inches because of the, um, you know, the frame and stuff. So anyway, once you get under there, it's not too bad. All right. Well, now we got that one on there. We're uh, fixing to tack him up and uh, get him centered. And then we'll try to weld, like we said. But uh, anyway, working on that now. So here we go. All right, so we got our things welded on under there and right there and up in the front. It's our tongue for the trailer. So it's all done. Got angle pieces on. They're welded to the little V channels. So we'll just hope it doesn't come off. You can see the the heat penetration up here uh, how the paint is kind of all tore up and where it got heated up there it is continue on to the front you know got it all on there did some side and underneath so I think we're good he stood on it didn't go anywhere and uh yeah I think we're ready to uh Chop these uh, side members off and chop these off and then we'll uh, put our bulldog hitch on and then we'll make our little composite you know from here to there and uh, I think we'll be due. We'll be done with him and uh, should pull better because this big is nine feet right here so it creates a lot of drag on the truck and these uh, enclosed trailers and things it says to shorten the tongue up and uh, creates less drag so it'll go over the truck easier and stuff so um, yeah, I think that'll improve the the pulling on it. I mean, it does great, you know, except for uphills. I got a little V6, and it was uh, slow down a lot on uh, uphills and things, but I think it was mostly the drag because, you know, we're way underweight. We took it to a weight and uh, scale, and it weighed... 1,500 pounds. Yeah, 1,500 pounds. It was like 1,460 or something like that, and that was with some of the... Well, with the bed in there. It didn't have any of the stuff in it, but um, so we're way under 3,500 and you know even the v6 says it'll do like 4200 pounds or 4700 pounds so i know it's not that but we're hoping that this will help um not to mention we just don't need all that extra space and tongue weight and metal all that metal on there and everything so once we get this done it'll be better and uh that'll be the next thing Alrighty, there she goes got the uh big old piece cut off and uh I don't know, we'll probably, actually we're talking about using him for uh, making a good uh, welding bench or something. Um, cut those channels off of there and use them for something. They'll make a real nice something. We'll figure something out that'll probably show up on here soon. We'll uh, take it and build something out of it and then we'll put the video up for it. But anyway, got this guy ready to go. Uh, we decided we're going to bolt on 
the coupler just to save on welding and grade 8 bolts and all that just to make it easy for us we'll be almost done and then we'll put our two side angles uh, across for the kind of the semi aim for aim composite tongue so anyway that's next So we're back. Um, we uh, got our uh, angle iron uh, cut for the uh, composite part of the tongue. We uh, just uh, notched them to go into the old channel that we cut off, um, just because that's the way uh, it, it rests. And we went down in the V. This was an old bolt trailer, so it went down. So the tongue sits a little bit lower than uh, the old one. So we ended up notching them so we can slide them in there and still have plenty of plenty of area to weld on that done so anyway fixing the tag him up there and go for it and then we'll uh, bolt on our coupler and we're done <laughs> 